Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and today we're gonna pull shipping together. These are items that have sold over the past day or two. I figured I would bring you down and pull items together because many of you like to see how I organize all of this stuff in my house. So if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller. I support myself, make a full-time income selling on eBay, pretty much just eBay these days. And while I am just using my judgment to pick up items, I do run comps once in a while. Many of you ask what a comp is, and that means when you type in the title of what you have into a Google search or an eBay search to see what the current price of items very similar, what the sold prices are. That way you know how to price your items. But a lot of times I use my judgment and I pick up what I like, as you can tell. So today we're just gonna pull items together. These are items Friday morning and Saturday. Today is Saturday, I'm just getting ready to pull. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see what's been selling and what kind of prices these items are bringing. Okay, so hopefully it is not too dark down here. It is about 5.30 in the morning and I am gonna get ready to pull shipping for the day. Today is Friday and let's see what's sold in the last 24 hours. So I just have my phone here. And the first item, which I'll put screenshots on for so that I don't show the buyer's address, is a vintage Gold's Gym men's tank shirt. So that's gonna be over down this way. For those of you new to my channel, this is where I keep most of the clothing. I'll do a slow turnaround. Now there is clothing on the other side. Let's take a peek at that. This is all waiting to be folded. I did get quite a bit folded. Yeah, and then I just listed a bunch more and it fills back up. But let's get this Gold's Gym tank shirt pulled. This is gonna be in men's graphic t-shirts. I will put tank shirts in this bin also, as long as it is graphic and it is a color. So let me see if I can pull this down. Now, many of you ask why I don't wear the chest-mounted GoPro, and I feel like the view on it is very stagnant. In other words, when it's mounted on the front of your body, you only get that straight, forward view. I wouldn't be able to really show everything like I do when I hand hold, but now I have to pull the bins down. So let's shut off the camera real quick and come back. Gold's Gym, just a tank shirt, thirty-two forty-four, and I believe I paid two ninety-nine dollars for this. So that was great profit. Next item up is a jacket I just listed yesterday, I think. So that's always exciting. $55 Calvin Klein. It is a woman's jacket. Jackets are here and it is pink and black. Here it is right here. Calvin Klein Performance, and I think I paid $9.99 for this, which is a little bit high for me, but I figured this would do well since it's a great color. It's that blush pink and the black, kind of like a scuba knit, and this is what the branding looks like. Okay, so $55, so $9.99 into $55, great profit again. The next item that sold was Timberland Smart Boots. This is a chaka boot. It's a men's boot, and I keep men's shoes and boots over here and boots over here with an overflow of sneakers. So as you can see, I have to revamp this a little bit because sometimes I pick up more inventory in a certain style. I also have boots over here. Mainly these are women's boots though, and I separate them basically by color. All right, let's look for the Timberland Smart Boots Chaka Men's Size 9. So as you can tell, these shelving units are on wheels. I picked these up in a thrift store when they had a store going out of business near them and they brought all the shelving in. So it did pick up three of these. Wish I could have gotten more. But right now I'm just going to look on the boots aisle and here it is here. I love when something has a really pronounced style. These have a yellow lace and I'm gonna pull these and make sure that they're correct size. And we'll go on to the next item. 24.22 these brought, and I paid 7.47. 
So not great, really high profit, but bread and butter items really pad my income. It's not always a woohoo. It's not always, you know, $100 profit. But I am happy to sell an item that's a good brand like Timberland and something that's easy to clean up. When I pick up shoes, I always look that the item is not going to take a lot of work, like a lot of polishing. But I do use the Dr. Martin's balsam. So that's what these were prepared with. All right, next item. Okay, so keeping it real, I have been picking up a ton of flatware. And unfortunately, it is not as organized as it could be. So when an item sells that's in the flatware category, I do have to dig a little bit. I am looking forward to getting some sort of chest with drawers that I could stick in the corner of the room and just be able to find these easier. But this is a set of six. I just call them seafood or garnish pickle lot. Sorry for the noise. My oil burner is kicking on because it is freezing here in Pennsylvania. All right, I'm going to put the camera down and find some six pickle forks. I was able to find these fairly easy, but I always look for ways to improve on my inventory situation. I don't ever want to have to dig a lot or lose items, which can happen from time to time, truth be told. So right now my silverware or flatware is in boxes with a letter for the inventory. Some of them are marked, some of them are not. I also have this bin here and this box here. These are just small metal kitchen tools. So, like I said, I'm going to be looking for some sort of caster wheel um, bottomed chest, if that makes sense, with a lot of small drawers. That way I can just wheel it over to where I need and pull the item. So this is what the forks look like. They're just like seafood forks or pickle forks, garnish forks, and six of them. Let me turn the phone back on and see what these sold for again. They sold for $9.99. Now, the reason I pick up flatware is when I can get it in very large lots, like a bag of, say, 50, 75 pieces, even if it's mixed, I will go ahead and part them out. So while you think $9.99 is not a great profit, it really is because in reality, I probably paid, I'm going to say, less than 50 cents for these. So I will go ahead. Flatware is very easy to identify. Most times it's marked with the brand on the back, and I really don't mind shipping it. A lot of times, if it's over a pound, I put this in the padded flat rate envelopes, and if not, I just wrap it really carefully. Most times this type of thing is not breakable. The next item up is a Soma, that's the brand. It is a sweater coat. I think this is like loungewear, and I always put loungewear in the title, even if the item doesn't really seem like sleepwear or pajamas, when it comes from a company that specifically sells that type of item. So this Selma coat, $18.50. Again, I think I paid, I think I paid $5.95 for that, and it will be in sleepwear. I think this is more like a lounge robe, I'm going to call it. So you can see my sleepwear is really depleted. I sell a ton of sleepwear. This looks like it here. So I'm a loungewear, large. Even Lisa packing. This is Lisa's writing. She packed it up. Tunic, <laughs> top, long sleeve. Okay, so that was fairly easy. Let's go on to the next item. Catalina swimsuit. And this is exactly why I list all season, all year. Because you never know who's going on vacation and can't find, this is going to be in here, swimsuit, sorry for the dark, the dark lighting, um, who can't find a swimsuit in the department stores. We all know that story. You get to go on vacation to someplace warm, and then you can't find swimsuits. So eBay has a ton of swimsuits all year. Here it is, Catalina. And I believe I paid, I'm trying to remember, guys, I think it was $3.99 for this at a half price sale. So that is the next item, and it sold for $20. Did I say that already? <laughs> okay, next item. This next item that sold, Timberland Men's 38 Pants Green Cargo. So we come down to men's pants, which I separate from the jeans, and I separate them by camo, green, beige, neutral, I've got to get a better tag on here, and dark. So I just have two bins of men's pants other than jeans. Jeans I have quite a bit, but I just separate them by color. So hopefully this will be as easy as I think it's going to be. So I'm just going to look for a camo pair. Men's cargo pants, size 2. Nope, those look like army pants. Here they are, here. Timberland, and there should be a tag. There we go. Timberland 38 men's cargo pants. So I'm going to put those over there. And we're just going to look at what else I have going on here. 
When I see the bin like this quite empty, even though I do have a lot on the rack over there waiting to be folded, this tells me of what I'm low in inventory, if that makes sense. I know a lot of resellers use a numbering system, and when you go into their numbering system bins, it's just a mix in that bin. I like to separate buy items, because that way, if this becomes low in inventory, just from sight, I can tell my graphic t-shirts are depleting and I need to pick up more. That's usually how I tell when I'm low in something. See how this long sleeve tee non-graphic that would be solid colors or prints it does not have you know a specific fun graphic on it it's filled up that means that I don't really have to you know get right on picking up that type of item but when I find a bin that's like halfway then I know that when I go into the store like here's sweaters creams and neutrals. You can see, I don't know if you can see or not, it's kind of dark down here, but I only have a couple in here. That will remind me when I get to the thrift store to look for women's sweaters in creams and neutrals. So I hope that makes sense of how I, from just a glance, tell what type of items are really selling through and what I need to pick up. Okay, so this is the Timberland men's pants. And did I say what these sold for? I don't even remember. So we just came off the plane from Florida. Roger and I had an excellent time. We went to Florida, we swam, the water was a little cold. So next we're looking for a floral swag in gold. As you can see, some big items I still have and I will be bringing these to auction. So when I have an item that's quite big, I will put it on Facebook Marketplace local pickup and eBay local pickup. But then at some point I do contemplate bringing it to auction to keep things moving. That's kind of like a fairly new thing I'm doing. And I have to judge whether I really think the thing will sell through and it'll just take time. But right now we are looking for, and I have found a floral swag. Do you guys remember these? I think they were from the eighties. This is just beautiful. $30 this brought, and I think I paid $2.99 for it. This is what the back looks like. So pretty. And I will have to box this and take quite a bit of care with this because, believe it or not, this is highly breakable. I know sometimes we equate things being breakable with glass or, you know, china or whatever, but these type of items can be quite breakable too. So I will uh, tissue paper this, bubble wrap, and packing peanuts all around in the box. All right, let's see what else is sold. Okay, so the other few items that have sold, I'm going to go upstairs to show you because I pulled them yesterday when I was pulling shipping for yesterday's salts. They came in in time for me to bring them up, but not to ship out. So I'm going to bring you upstairs. I just have two more items. One is a Lego set and one is that big puffy crinoline slip uh, that I thought would be great for Renaissance. All right, let me cover up down here, shut off the lights, and we'll go upstairs and take a look at those two items. Okay, so I realized the lighting in my office is going to be really wonky because it is so early in the morning, but I just wanted to show you the last two items that I am shipping out this morning. A very large, puffy, crinoline skirt, $30 this brought, and I think I paid either $2.50 or $3.50 for this. Truthfully, I can't remember. I'd have to go back and watch my own video. And a Lego set that I was not going to count the pieces or put it together. This is the um, jet plane that goes with the airport. So I just put this in a bag like this. And I will lay it out on a poster board or a foam board when I'm photographing it. I'll try to insert photos here so you can see what the listing looks like. And then I just do auction. This sold for $16. And I believe I paid, what did I pay for this? $5? $4? I don't even remember. Very easy though. Very quick. All right. I'm going to get packing. Sorry for my voice. It's a little bit crackly from the plane we flew in. I can't even remember what day. Was that last night? I don't even know. But I had a great time. Anna Maria Island. Roger and I went together and really enjoyed our time off. We both worked so hard. Really important to take some time off. But when I come off the plane, I always have dry throat, which I have to eat a thousand lozenges to get get a smooth throat again. So like I have shared in the past, I am a long tail seller. This means that I pick up items, I list them on eBay, and I let it ride. I don't pull them down. I let items sit until they sell. Now, while this business model is not for everybody, I feel you need three things basically to do this kind of business model. You need capital to invest. That means that you don't need your items to sell right away to get the money back out to reinvest. In other words, I save capital. 
middle and I can just keep shopping and shopping, which is very dangerous. And number two, you need a place to store your items that is not costing money per month. So if you rent an offsite storage, sometimes that can get costly. But here in my house, in my basement, I store everything. So basically storage is free for me. I love it. And number three, you need patience. When an item is listed like this little guy here, I've probably had him couldn't even tell you how long I've had him. I should have looked back. Maybe it's over six months, but he brought $55. Now I could have grown impatient and just sold him quickly, you know, to the lowest offer or just to move him out. But I'm not about that. I'm about picking up items and holding on to them till they sell. And somehow this business model is really doing well for me. So this year has been another record breaking year selling on eBay. I have been selling for nine years now, starting my ninth year, I think, 2013. Somebody do the math. And my numbers keep going up every year. So that has just been great. Okay, so it is Saturday, and we're going to continue to pull shipping for the weekend. Now, this weekend, Monday is a postal holiday, but when there's a postal holiday, I try to at least pull the shipping to get it ready to ship out, even though most likely I won't ship out till Tuesday morning. But I do start the process ahead of time, because if I wait till the last minute, this can be overwhelming for one person. All right, let's take a look at the first item that sold that we're pulling today, the first one is a golden frog statue. It is a yoga frog. And I have had this, oh, for over, I'm going to say over six months. And there he is sitting up there just waiting to be sold. And he did sell. I knew he would. So he would be great in the garden or even in the house. I don't know if he is weatherproof, but look how cute he is. $59.50. Who wouldn't pick up a golden yoga frog. Okay, let's go to item number two. I'm just going to carry my phone with me. Item number two is a pair of jeans. This is a men's jeans, copper rivet, I think is the name of them. I've never heard of that before. And I've had these again for a while, but I've been patiently waiting. So truth be told, I didn't even remember they were here. C is the letter that we're looking for and the size is 40. So because C is for copper and 40, they're gonna be in this bin. This is how I organize the men's jeans by the brand letter and the size. Let's pull this bin and see if hopefully they are in there. Okay, so here they are here, new with tags, skinny fit, and these are highly embellished jean. That's what made me pick them up. I had never heard of copper rivet before, but um, hey, they sold, so that is a great thing. I paid, I believe I paid $7.99 for these, and what did I say they sold for? Let me just grab my phone again, $35.25. Okay, on to the next item. The next item is a vase that I just listed last night, this morning. I don't even remember. All becomes a blur. And this is Canuck Pottery Evangeline. So Evangeline Ware, I'm going to grab this. Okay, sorry for the dark corner. And this is what it looks like here. I sold this for $15, and I just recently picked this one up. What did I pay for this, guys? I'd have to go back up the other video and take a look. But anyway, $15 going out the door. Next item is Beekman 1802. I see it right away. I'll see if I can get it down with holding the camera. Okay, this is a gift set. And this is what it looks like, $55 beautiful. And I believe I paid $8 for this. Okay, let's see what else sold. We've got those two. Brooks Brothers, a sport coat. Again, I just listed this. Let's see if I can find what I did with it. And I think this might be it right here. This is the men's clothing. As you can tell, the rack is more depleted so that is a great thing between selling and packing the items. I am paring down and getting ready for a big buying week. This week I am going to be out at least three or four days, 12 hour days that is, and just loading up on the inventory. But here is the sport coat. 
beautiful. This is called window pane. See how large these squares are here? It's a Czech uh, print. And then it has like a quiet, almost like a hound's tooth in the back. But when you see a Czech or a plaid with very large squares, window pane, that's called. Okay, and I've lost my phone. Let me grab that to see what this sold for. I'm all over the place today. $49.50. All right, so we have the gift set, the jeans, Canuck pottery, our golden frog, Brooks Brothers jacket. Next item up, Le Creuset. I showed this on a recent video. This is the juicer. This is beautiful. I think this is Caribbean blue, but I don't think I put that in the title because I wasn't positive. So I'm trusting that the buyer who buys Le Creuset will know their colors of their pottery. Kind of reminds me of Fiesta Ware, how people know the colors of the pottery. And this sold for $18. I think I paid $3 for that. Okay, going the wrong way. Next up is an owl statue. Oh dear, I have a lot of owl statues up there. I'm going to have to really think about which one this is. This is, he's sitting on a branch. So does anybody see an owl sitting on a branch? A lot of animals over here. This is my little figurine animal section, but I have a feeling that this owl is bigger and that might be him back there. Let's bring down this frog carefully and put the frog over here and yep. Here he is. <laughs> I guess this should be my owl section. I should put all the owls together. I think I have a few of them back there. And here is this guy. So beautiful. And he sold for $19.99. And he is marked 2694. No idea what that means. I would think that's the mold number. All right, so we're gonna put him there. And what did I pay for him? I think I paid $2.99 for him. Next up is a vintage pair of bird pictures that are made with genuine feathers. And it's gonna be in this art cabinet situation here. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I think I see them already and pull them down and we'll take a look at them. 44.25, aren't these gorgeous? These are usually from Mexico, if I remember. Yep, Mexico. Let's see if they're marked on the back. I don't even remember. I've probably had these close to a year. And I couldn't tell you what I paid for them. I mean, it's in my log, but I'm not going to take time to go back because this is this I've had for a while. Okay, so $44.25. My buyer always pays shipping. Next up, the Rabbit Bookends. Roger picked these up for me when he went thrifting. And I believe he paid, let me remember, $1.99 each. So $4 for the pair. Let's bring them. They are heavy. They are iron. And this is Midwest Cannon Falls. So let's go get the other one. $28. Next up, a pair of L.L. Bean hiking pants and they convert to shorts. So I'm going to look on the men's rack first. I have learned to do this because it's quicker to look through things that aren't packaged rather than things that are packaged. But it could be this. Nope, these are American Eagle. All right, let's scoot through here. Scoot, scoot. And get over to the men's bin. I've showed this before. These two bins down here are the men's pants that are in jeans. I really don't pick up a lot of pants in um, men's, but I'm thinking of starting to do men's suits, suit jackets, and dress pants. It's a category or a niche that I feel like is really undersourced, meaning a lot of people do not pick up men's dress pants or sport coats, at least in my area. So I'm thinking of doing that along with everything else. Let's pull this out. Okay, this might be them here. Uh, 511 Tactical, that's not them. Okay, that's not them, Gant, but maybe this is them. Columbia. The North Face. L.L. Bean. <laughs> it's always the last pair. 34 by 30. And what did these sell for? Let's grab the phone. And of course the phone turned off, $18.
So uh, what did I pay for these? I think these L.L. Bean were in a dollar sale. Pretty sure this was the dollar color tag of the week. Certain stores do that. And it could have been from the East Earl store, a dollar five, one of those. Okay, let's cover up this bin. Okay, I'm gonna grab these pants and come this way. So as you can see, I have uncovered all of the clothing. I do this when I have a lot to pull. That way it makes it easier. Collect things on the table here. Okay, what are we up to? We're up to two Fred Roberts vintage bird mugs. Here is the mug situation over here. And these are like a footed mug, so it should be, famous last words, easier to find. I see them back there. Let's move the Pioneer Woman mug. See if I can put that someplace easier. And it is these two mugs here. I have had these, guys, I'm going to say for over two years. Here they are, and it didn't bother me a bit. Okay, the next item that sold, $19.99, soft surroundings, an alpaca sweater. I remember seeing that. And here it is here. Beautiful. It's kind of like a soft um, gray green, I'm going to call it. Let's bring it in the light. Take a look at this. And it is 71 acrylic, 22 alpaca, 7 wool. When there is a natural fiber, whether it be alpaca or cashmere or wool, I'm always sure to list that in the listing because certain people are sensitive to certain fibers. So this is a blend and just beautiful. This is going to be nice and warm. Maybe that buyer is in the cold part of the country. Next up, Your Zone Pom Pom Sheer Drape Curtains. I think I showed finding these when I was in Goodwill. And let's see if we can find them. They will be in drapes. Do I even have drapes? Okay, that's kitchen towels, shower curtains, quilts, curtains, and drapes. That's where they'll be. Okay, we're just going to move that over. And here they are. I thought I had two sets of these. I might have sold the other ones. This is what my curtains and drapes looks like. Yep, I guess the other one's sold. And what did I get for these? I got $24.99 and I paid $2.50 for those. Okay, so the next item is a Batman book. Sold for $7 and I believe I picked this up for $0.99. Cents. Sometimes I just pick up things to entertain myself and um, not a bad profit, a dollar into seven. So that was in small books. Sometimes I really consider separating small items from large items so that the small ones don't get crushed because my large books bin is quite heavy and quite a lot of books in there. All right, guys, so that is the video for today. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. <laughs>